A man sitting in the Richmond County Jail on robbery charges was served Thursday with a warrant for murder of a teenager. Investigators with the Rockingham Police Department have charged 20-year-old Tito Jermaine Ray with first-degree murder in the death of a child under 16. Detective Lieutenant George Gillen Water previously told the RO that the victim was found dead when police arrived on the scene in the area of Rockingham Road and Palisade Circle in the early morning hours of March 26. On Thursday, Gillen Water still declined to name the victim because of his age and also declined to reveal the manner of death. He did say that investigators received considerable cooperation from the community that led to charges being filed against Ray. Jail records show Ray was booked on March 27th on charges of armed robbery, assault by pointing a gun, two counts of possession of a firearm by a felon, and conspiracy to commit robbery with a dangerous weapon. Gillen Water said the robbery charges are not connected to the homicide. Ray is being held without bond on the murder charge and combined $265,000 secure bond on the other charges. He is scheduled to appear in court on April 22nd on the murder charge and April 15th on the other charges. A drive through vigil to remember all of the Richmond County residents who died after being diagnosed with COVID-19 has been rescheduled. The event, which was to feature a luminary for all 92 people, was planned for this evening. But Aging Services Director Jacqueline Welch said decided to call it off because of a threat of thunderstorms. Welch said no makeup date has yet been scheduled. The first COVID-related death in Richmond County was reported exactly a year ago, and the most recent was announced on March 10th. As of Thursday, there have been 12,224 COVID-related deaths in North Carolina, according to the State Department of Health and Human Services. Richmond County's biker community will be hitting the road again in the coming days and months to raise money for special causes. On Sunday, kickstands will go up around 1 p.m. at the Crossroads Saloon in a ride to raise money for Headstone for the late Caleb Bundy. Bundy, grandson of Crossroads owners Roger and Tammy Messer, died in a tragic accident last November at the age of 11. He was also the grandson of Old School Tribe Riding Club member Marty Bundy. The ride will end at Rockingham VFW Post 4203 with food, a 50-50 raffle, and door prizes. Donations will be collected during the sign-up. Messer moved the date from Saturday to Sunday because of the threat of thunderstorms. The annual Buddy Road Ride for Richmond County Special Olympics is slated for May 1st, with bikers leaving and returning to the Hideaway Tavern for barbecue and chicken plate sales, a 50-50 and silent auction. Last year's event was canceled because the bar was closed by Governor Roy Cooper's executive order. The city's summer concert series Plaza Jam is tentatively back on for the 2021 season. Rockingham Events Coordinator Kim Williams announced on Facebook Thursday afternoon that performances have been booked. However, state COVID-19 guidelines currently hindered the monthly concerts. As pointed out in the post, outdoor mass gatherings are presently limited to crowds of 100 per Governor Roy Cooper's executive order. Williams says she's hoping the limit will change by the time of the first concert in May. The city canceled every performance last year because of the pandemic. Williams said the same bands have been rescheduled for this year. Those include the Tams, North Power Band, the Entertainers, Craig Willard and the Embers, and the Tones. While live music took a hit due to the pandemic, Cole Auditorium hosted several concerts in late 2020 with bands performing in front of the building and spectators staying in or near their vehicles. This year, the Cole is hosting a new outdoor series live at the lake. So far, the only act to be announced is Carolyn Owens, a gospel and bluegrass performer. The announcement was made on Facebook of March 31st. The concert is scheduled for April 30th at the Amphitheater by the Lake on the Richmond Community College campus. Tickets are $5 and the show starts at 6 p.m. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. You were always more than my mom. You were my role model, my best friend, and biggest supporter. 
You filled my days with unconditional love. And you also prepared for the day when you couldn't be here. Because of the woman you were back then, I'm able to be the woman I am now. Your planning made this moment possible. Set your family up for life. Southern Farm Bureau Life Insurance. Your friends for life. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Your Live at 5 weather report is brought to you by Sunset Slush. Classic Tiny Ice located here in downtown Rockingham. And happy Friday, everybody. We have made it to the end of the work week. And we've also made it through an entire week's worth of beautiful weather. Uh, of course, today we've been expecting to see some clouds in the sky. We've seen that, of course. We've also been expecting some rain to pop up as well this evening. And we do have some of that along the way. 6 o'clock vote will stay cloudy with 77 degrees. 10 o'clock, 66 degrees with a 4% chance of showers. We'll have some showers a little bit earlier as well, so be mindful of that between 6 and 10 o'clock. Should be seeing some rain popping up there as well. Um, uh, sunset's going to be at 7.46 p.m. to be a waning crescent moon phase out tonight as well. Take a look at the highs and lows tomorrow. We are not done with the precipitation. In fact, we're also going to get some thunderstorms out of this uh, for tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be looking at that across the entire Sand Hills region tomorrow. Fayetteville, a high of 80, low of 64. Rayford, a high of 80, low of 62. Down in Robeson County, a high of 80 and a low of 65, with Scotland County seeing a high of 84 and a low of 64. Up in Moore County, it'd be a high of 80 and a low of 62, with LRB seeing a high of 82 and a low of 60. Down in Rockingham and Hamlet, a high of 84, low of 61, with Bennettville seeing a high of 84 and a low of 63. And of course, across the PD in Waysboro, high of 80, low of 62. Fortunately, the rain is coming around even longer than that. We do have some on Sunday as well. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast. Uh, rain, actually, the threat has kind of canceled a couple of events as we talked about earlier in the show. Uh, so it is definitely going to be affecting us a little bit here this weekend. Uh, but we do have a 30% chance of showers on Sunday with a high of 81, a low of 55. On uh, Monday, we do have sunny skies returning with a high of 83 and a low of 55. Temperatures are still staying in the 80s. Uh, but as you can see, the low is kind of dropping off there. And it's kind of got a downward trend going throughout the seven day forecast here. Uh, Tuesday, a high of 88, low of 60, with Wednesday seeing a high of 82 and a 58 for the low. Both of those days, party of cloudy skies, as will be Thursday and Friday. Thursday, we'll be seeing a high of 78 and a low of 53, with Friday seeing a high of 73 and a low of 51. So again, we do got plenty of rain along the way. It's a 30% chance for Sunday, so it might be okay for that day. Saturday, I do expect that we'll be seeing a little bit of that as well, considering we're getting into a 70% chances in the afternoon and the evening, 50% uh, chance in the afternoon. So uh, very, very good chance for rain and thunderstorms on tomorrow. Uh, chances on Sunday look a little bit better if you want to get outside and enjoy it without the worry of that rain. So uh, just be mindful of it though. Of course, we are still going to be couple days away from that, so anything can change. You know how North Carolina weather is. It can be uh, any moment's notice that we're just gonna all of a sudden get some rain out of it. So uh, we've, ha we've definitely have experienced all four seasons before in one week. So 
do not be surprised if we do get some rain on Sunday. Uh, again, that 3% chance could very well go up. So uh, that is going to look for your Live at 5 weather report. And for tonight's edition of Live at 5, of course, for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on Monday. Good night, Richmond County.